it's Nick from Allied Electrical. Today we're looking at intruder alarms, or more specifically, how to replace the battery in your intruder alarm. So why would you want to replace the battery? Well, uh, when you're led in bed at two o'clock in the morning and you can hear your neighbour's alarm going off, the chances are he's not had his alarm service in a while and the battery has failed in the panel. Um, if you then uh, lose power to the, to the actual panel, the mains power, can then cause the um, self-powered bell outside to go off. Um, if you leave a battery to discharge um, when it's flat, if you leave it long enough, um, this will happen to it. We've actually taken this one out of a customer's property yesterday, which is what's prompted this video. And you can actually see there, if you look at the terminal, you can still, you can, sorry, you can see it um, has started to uh, corrode on the terminal there. And you can also actually see the case has split as well. Now this is a sealed lead acid battery, so you really don't want the contents of this battery to kind of come out. In this particular instance, where it's um, bubbled out of the terminal, it's actually uh, run down onto the uh, printed circuit board in the customer's alarm, uh, and it's done quite a lot of damage, and they've actually needed a new new alarm panel. So that's uh, quite an expensive uh, situation. Okay, so what's required to replace the the battery in the alarm panel? Uh, well, firstly, you'll need a battery. Um, we'd suggest you get um, uh, a like-for-like -like replacement. If your intruder alarm has been professionally installed, the battery will have been calculated uh, to last a certain amount of time uh, for your system. Um, so if you get a like-for-like, -like, obviously um, it maintains that. Uh, this particular one is a UASA, which is a good quality battery, 2.3 amp hour, 12 volt. Um, so what else do we need? Well, we need a couple of screwdrivers. Um, We've got a small flathead and Phillips there. Um, we're going to take a little look at this panel today. This is a Texcom, um, but the basic gist is the same, whether it be Texcom, Optima, um, Scantronic, you know, so on and so forth. Okay, so the other thing you'll need is the uh, codes for the panel. There should be a minimum of two. One will be the installer code and one will be the user code. The user code is the code you use to set and unset the alarm on a daily basis. From experience, we find a lot of customers don't have the installer code. Um, if you do have the installer code, you can enter engineering mode, take the cover off the panel without the alarm going off and reset it. That's the easy way of doing it. But as I say, most customers don't seem to have that code. So we're going to go the difficult way today and we're just going to do it with the, the user code. So um, steps are, um, we're going to remove the front cover uh, there's a tamper spring inside on the cover, so you'll find as soon as we take the cover off, the um, intruder alarm will go into an alarm state. We then enter our user code, and that will then silence the alarm. We can then change the battery over, refit the cover, and reset the alarm. So let's make a start. So firstly, we've got these little nubbins that just cover the uh, screws on the front of the panel. So we'll take those, take those off. And then let's remove the front cover. Be very, very careful. Uh, there is mains power present inside the panel. Um, so you just need to be careful uh, what you're touching inside. Just hold the front cover on so it doesn't inadvertently spring off when you're taking the screws out. So when we remove the cover, it will go into alarm, which is gonna be quite loud. So if I just quickly demonstrate. Right, we've just entered the user code, which has now silenced the alarm. So this is the existing battery. So we'll take that out with a bit of a wiggle on the connections. So this is our new battery. So observing the polarity, you don't want to get them mixed back to front because it will pop uh, pop the fuse in the in the panel. So um, we're just going to put those connections on there, like so. Make sure they're properly seated on there. And we'll just pop the panel back on. As I was saying, there is live 230 volt power in there, so just be exceptionally careful. And obviously there is potentially high voltage in it as well. Um, so that's the battery replaced, simple as that. Make sure all the wires are just tucked back in. Um, and then we'll pop the front cover back on. We'll 
do the screws up. And I don't know how clear it is on the video itself, but um, there's actually a tamper light lit and flashing on the front of the panel there. Uh, and that's obviously because we've uh, activated the tamper switch inside the panel. So all we're going to now simply do is push reset and it goes back to its unpower, uh, unset uh, daytime setting. Depending on the brand of panel, you may need to put in a user code uh, and push reset. Um, but otherwise, it's as simple as that. As ever with these things, if you're not totally confident with what you're doing, call your local friendly electrician or your local friendly alarm installer. Um, and stay safe. Thank you for watching.